Good morning from Johns Hopkins. I want to give you guys all a quick update. I've been outfitted after seeing this cardiologist with this wireless heart monitor. It has a phone that has to stay within 10 feet of me for the next 30 days. It will send live signals back to my cardiologist's office. It will allow me to hit a button if I'm dizzy, hit a button if I'm shortness of breath, hit a button for anything that's going on with me, and they can see if they can tie it in and get some more answers. They also did an EKG, and then they're scheduling me next for a stress test. I am at the beginning stages of getting some answers after that. I have to talk to get some genetic testing. After that, I'm going to meet with a general cardiologist to look into some of the connections I talked about with me and my sister and the DNA that I inherited now post bone marrow transplant. But my message to all of you is if you are a cancer survivor and you had chemo and radiation, go get your heart checked. Just meet with a cardiologist. It could be nothing. You could be absolutely fine and that's great, but at least you're getting ahead of it. One thing I noticed with my care is I lacked the patient navigation that I desperately needed to direct me to all the help. My husband is honking for me to hurry up, but I want you to know that patient navigation is important. You need to get in with the doctors that you need to get in with and you need to be pushy. So that's my message. Don't forget, prepare, present, prevail, armor up and prepare your body for illness so you can present well to doctors, position yourself to prevail. The more fit you are when you go into it, the better you'll get out of it. Now I'm dealing with the repercussions, but at least I'm here and alive to be able to bring you these messages and take care of my health. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.